Well, this will be the picture you see in the newspapers tomorrow morning, the abiding image of the 98-99 playoff final. A smiling Graham Taylor with a winning Watford side. They're back in the top division after 11 years. Uh, well, that was a few moments ago. Uh, Graham Taylor can now join us live from the dugout down below and from several thousand miles away. The Watford chairman, Elton John, can also uh, join us. And Elton, I'm sure you'd love to say a few words to Graham. So, go ahead. Well, Graham. Hi, Elton. Unbelievable game. I've never seen a Watford team play with such passion. Every single man was brilliant. I am so happy for the, the staff at the club, the players, the fans, the board. But more, more than anything, I'm so happy for you. That's um, very kind of you. Because you know how much faith I have in you. You're one of my dearest friends in life, and uh, this is a magnificent achievement. And uh, you know, I can't wait for next season. I was a, a, a full of trepidation. Um, but today I couldn't be more proud. If I could play every concert as well as those guys played out there, I'd be a very happy man. And you must tell that to the players. They were all in. I mean, it was the most fantastic performance. That's and what a, what an occasion to see all those colours and and the town and what what a great achievement. And for you, I'm very emotional as I speak. But you know how much I think of you. You you are to me the best and the best person and part an incredible um, part of my life and I, I can't thank you enough for what you've done today. Thank you very, very much for that. I don't know really how to follow that, but I'll tell you what, they, they, they did, as they have been doing really, Elton, all of the season, they gave of their best and you know as well as I do, that's all you can ask, expect of people, but they really believed it today. They believed it was going to be their day and they went out there and they played in that manner and I was very, very proud of all of them. Uh, but coming off the pitch there, right at the very end, I turned round and I looked back and I saw half of Wembley still full, all with Watford supporters, and that was a picture sh I shall treasure for the rest of my life. Elton, uh, no, no, let me let too. I mean, I couldn't speak at half-time. When we scored the first goal, I think something went wrong, desperately wrong with the throat. I'm just getting my voice back now, because when the second goal went in, I didn't dare do anything. I just danced around the room. And, uh, um, but as you say, for the club um, and for the supporters, what a great sight. For you, you know, I told you when you came back to Wofford, you were coming home, and the people loved you, and, and, and it was a, a good marriage. And, I, you know, you've proved everybody right. And uh, best wishes to Kenny, Tom Wally, and Luther, and the boys. I'll try and get in touch tonight at the hotel by phone. Because um, I don't know where you're going from here. We're at the, um, so we're at the Sopwell House. There's a little bit of thing. We're having a party. <laughs> <laughs> let, me let me jump in well, quickly. Uh, Graham, um, don't go away. A couple of quick questions to Elton. Um, first of all, is your voice going to be all right for that concert tomorrow night now? Yeah, it is. It, I mean, it's gradually coming back now. I don't know what I did to it, but when that first goal went in, I mean, it was such a great goal. I just went crazy, and at half-time I could barely speak, but it is coming back, and I will be able to play. Oh boy, yes, I'll play. <laughs> <laughs> Are there lots of Americans around you at the moment shaking their heads uh, and thinking, what on earth is this guy getting so excited about? Um, well, maybe one or two, um, but I mean, I'm, I've got a lot of British people with me watching the game as well, and, um, and you know, we were all so excited, and so... Oh, what can I tell you? I'd really just like to thank Sky for letting me be, be able to watch the game because uh, I would have given my right leg or my right arm to be there today with my mum and dad and everybody that I love at the game. Um, but, you know, my heart was there. I, before the weekend started, I said, Scunthorpe, Manchester City and Watford, and I was hoping that we wouldn't uh, blow the trifecta, as it were. <laughs> and uh, I came through. I should have had a bet, right? You certainly should have done. Uh, one final point, you're back in the Premiership just a couple of years after being in the second division. Where does the dream go now? What's next uh, on the list as far as Watford are concerned, do you think? Well, obviously we have to uh, make sure that we can uh, stay in the, in the Premier League. We all know how difficult it is. We all know how well Charlton played this year. And as Alan Kerbisi said, they went down on their final match. Um, you have to uh, look at the examples that are set by certain teams in the uh, Premier League, uh, like Leicester, like Derby, uh, like Wimbledon, um, and uh, and you have to set your sights. And I'm sure Graham doesn't need any. I mean, I'm sure he's been planning anyway. He's a very forward-thinking man. Um, but you have to set your sights on. You know, we have the basis of a good team. And team spirit is very, very good. We know we'll have to buy new players, but um, you know, you you say right. If you think you're going to struggle from the word go, then you're going to be in real trouble. You just got to go out there and play with the same passion. I remember when we. 
where I got promoted to the first division and we finished second in our first year. That is not going to happen, I don't think. <laughs> if it does, well, you know, that'll be a miracle, but it won't happen. But uh, what can happen is that we can establish ourselves gradually. We have a lot of good young players. Uh, we'll have to buy. Uh, and we'll, have, we'll give it our best. You've seen those players on the pitch. They will give it their best. And, you know, we have one of the best managers that's ever graced the English game. And, uh, you know, so I'm pretty confident. Well, Elton, it's been a great pleasure to have you on the programme. Go and enjoy a champagne breakfast in Seattle. Yes, yeah, only 9.25. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a long day ahead. Well done. Graham, yeah. uh, you're still with us. Um, Elton touched on next season, and of course everyone's going to start asking you about next season. Now, how busy are you going to have to be during the summer to create a side strong enough to, at the very least, survive in the Premiership? Well, the thing is, today, of course, or right now, isn't the time to be talking about that. What we have to do is we've got to enjoy this evening, and then we've got a month, just about a month off, well, it will be before we start again, and uh, we've got to give that a lot of thought. But Elton said one or two things there. That, uh, we're not a big club, and it would be very, very silly of me to have to feel that I would spend millions of pounds and thereby in one stroke almost destroy our youth system. Over the years, Watford Football Club have produced their own players, and we must be very, very careful now as to what steps we actually take. So there's got to be a lot of thinking to do. Obviously, we want to stay in the Premiership now that we've got it, and that will be our first target, to make sure that we can stabilise ourselves and get in. Because as Elton quite rightly says, I think to go into this division now and expect us to finish runners-up as we did the first time last year, that's just asking a little bit too much, I think. I'm sure it is. Um, Graham, you've experienced some really dark days. Uh, how much does this afternoon go to, to wipe the memory clean now well no everything is history you know I mean as far as I'm concerned today was the most important game in my life because that's what is happening now I'm a big believer that in fact uh, what has happened you can't change that and it's happened but in terms of being a, a manager now for 27 years I just had a bit of a rough time unfortunately it was right in the England situation there with the highest profile and we didn't qualify for the World Cup I've accepted responsibilities I mean you have to do that and I resigned from that time on, I had one full season at uh, Wolverhampton where we reached the playoffs. Unfortunately, we didn't make it last time. So, about a couple of seasons out of 27 years, it's not really all that bad at all. And uh, as I said earlier, what's history is history. You can't alter it. It's all about now and tomorrow. One last point. I know that one football manager came up to you um, a few days ago and said, Graham, you should uh, win at Wembley, go to the press conference, put two fingers up and retire. You're not going to do that, are you? Well, I'm just going to the press conference, so you better read all about it tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm, I shall go to the press conference. I certainly won't put two fingers up, and I'm not retiring. OK, we'll take a camera along to the press conference just in case. All right. <laughs> Great. Many congratulations. Enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything. Bye.